how did he end up there? Well, apparently this building is quite bugged at the moment, sadly. But now I have picked up a lot of uh, 9mm pistols. That is good because then I can repair one to have one at full condition. That is good. Because as you see now, it does a lot more damage. Now it has DPS of 36. I think that's 10 more than it had to begin with. So, let's go with that. I like the pistol. Um, simply because of the uh, firing rate. Here, I think the rifle is called for. If nothing else, just to alert them. Who's there? Ah, just getting jumpy, I guess. Now what I think you should watch out for here is that they may come from both sides. There's a door behind me. I've got you now. Holy shit, he has a minigun. <laughs> Whoa. No, oh god, it wasn't a minigun, it was a fuel. No, flamer. Incinerator, actually. I think the flamer does more damage. But it, they essentially work the same way. And that guy jump scared me. Whew. Is there any more people here? Isn't there one more guy? Yes, it is. There you go. And I believe that's all of them. Nope, there's one more. There you go. That's all of them. Now, of course, uh, knowing the area <laughs> always makes a difference in a game like Fallout. This is the guy we're here for, Deputy Beagle. And a first aid box. Always look for those. They are valuable, believe me. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. Who are you? Oh, well, I'm Deputy Beagle, and I'm being held hostage. Can you imagine? I'd be most grateful if you would set me free. How'd you end up being a hostage? I must say it's been the low point of my career in law enforcement. The powder gangers stole into town at night and murdered my sister and her husband, the sheriff, in bed while I was sleeping in the office. I watched them for a bit, waiting for the right moment to pounce and arrest a lot of them, taking careful notes as I watched. To my dismay, they found me while I waited in the shadows and brought me here. I'll set you free now. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. <laughs> I didn't cut you loose so you could run away. Stick with me. Oh, that's so gracious of you to offer to bodyguard me like that. But I'd only slow you down. See you outside. No, 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 no. You wait. Stop. Talk to me, man. But I'm quite busy until I reach safety. Holy shit, I hate you. Well, if you have the speech required, do tell him to come with you, even if you are an asshole while you're saying it. Simply because it gives you experience. Nothing more than that. Also, a nice tip. Uh, in Fallout, to sheath your weapon or holster your gun, you press and hold the reload button. Uh, I'm playing on PC, so that will be R for me. And when you do sheath your weapon or holster your gun, you run faster. Now, it's not a big deal, but it helps. Like, see, if I take up the rifle, I will start moving slower. It's not 
really that much, but it, it is a notable difference and it helps when you're traveling long distances. Also, handguns and one armed weapons will uh, slow you down less than rifles or two-handed yeah. weapons, stuff like that. As you can imagine, a minigun would slow you down quite a lot. Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Breaking myself out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course, but it was quite thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in Prem. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? What are you talking about? You're the sheriff now. Oh, no. I'm just a deputy, and I can't be a deputy without a sheriff. It's called chain of command. What are the qualifications for a sheriff? It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. I'll help bring law and order back to Prim. You will? That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. Well, I just agreed to help Prim out by getting a new sheriff. Before I do that, however, I will get this thing. Mojave Express offices in Prim. There is some things to be found in here. Um, it's not much, but it is something. Scrap metal. Even though it's stealing, scrap metal is actually worth something. Because you can make lead of it. Which uh, in turn can be used to make bullets. Now, if you will notice down in the right, no, left hand corner, you have my HP bar. But you can also faintly see the H2O uh, text there. That means I am getting dehydrated. That's a thing of the hardcore mode, and it means I should drink something. As you can see from the dirty water, the effects it has is H2O minus 65 which will make you less thirsty of course purified water also have 65 but it is better in regards to health and the fact that it doesn't radiate you while drinking it now the sunset sarsaparilla is the opposite it will make you more thirsty it is a soda so it will make you thirsty However, if you drink from a tap or something like that, uh, then you will pretty much be able to take just two sips and be uh, be good. I mean, no uh, dehydration whatsoever. But what was I here for? There was a note, I believe, somewhere. If it's not just the guy outside. Well, you can try to fix this robot. You can do it either with repair, but then you will need parts. Because you need 65 or higher to repair it without replacement parts. But you could just get replacement parts. And examine the electronics. Uh, you need 55 science. So basically, to get this, you need parts. Um, if I remember, I will get down, uh, get back down here for it because I like the iBots for some reason. They <laughs> made a vital target practice back in Fallout 3. Those were skill books. They're very uh, nice to have, as I uh, previously stated. And guns, and bullets. And of course it's stealing, so it's bad karma, but I don't really care too much about that. 
So, arriving at Vicky and Vance to just listen to the people, what they have to say about a new sheriff. But that will be next time. For now, I will stop this session and I will start uploading the video right away. Thank you for watching and I hope you will come back another time. So long.